Rugby means so much to me. I think it's given me a new life. I would dread to think where I'd be if I didn't pick up a rugby ball. I started playing Gaelic football when I was about eight years old and yeah, I played all through school and uni. When I was in university, I probably didn't have the best experience. I dropped out and stopped playing football, probably wasn't in the best mental health state. And I think I just struggled to figure out who I was at that time. So that's when I decided to like, move away from Ireland, start fresh in Brighton. It was the best thing I ever done. We started working in the pubs there and one of the girls I was working behind the bar with, she said, why don't you pick up a rugby ball? Because there wasn't any Gaelic football teams there. I picked up a rugby ball, started to get fitter again, really enjoyed the sport. And then I was like, wow, I could probably give this a proper go. Clear out, yes, good, get it down, clear it through. Trying to travel up to London and Wasps. It was really tough. I was working late nights in the pub, coming back on the train, covered in mud at like 9 p.m. in the evening after working in the morning from Brighton, getting home at half 11 and doing it all over again. But I wouldn't change it for the world. I came to rugby later. I knew I didn't have a lot of time to play with, so I knew if I wanted to take it seriously, I'd have to give all my time and effort to it. It was really hard leaving Wasps because that was where I learned most of you know, the game and I think at that time I couldn't afford to live in London. It was sad, but after coming to Gloucester, I knew it was kind of where I needed to be in the next chapter. When I came to Gloucester, a few of the coaches were going away for the World Cup, so I started helping out with the Bucks University side and just really loved it. I think the most rewarding part is just being part of someone's journey. You maybe hopefully steer them in the right direction and improve them week on week. We have a lot of dual career players, you know, physiotherapists, policewomen, teachers, everything. Like they start work extremely early. As we're moving more into like professionalism, it is getting harder and harder. Each individual is trying to make it work as best they can into their lifestyle. Some players have like put their careers on hold to put rugby first because you know you can't play rugby forever so you might as well give it the shot while you can. It's so hard to balance both but I think if you've got support around you from your team it's really important. <laughs>